Hi, I'm Dan Senadoza, and this is Joint Mobility. Joint Mobility is a flexibility class that focuses on both active and passive stretching techniques. Almost anybody can do it, and everybody should. A lot of the exercises are done seated, although some of them are done standing. If you don't feel comfortable doing an exercise, just sit that one out and wait for the next one. Just do what you can do and remember to never move into pain. We're gonna begin with the head and neck. All right, first we're gonna start by turning the head left to right, side to side. As you do these, keep a long spine, nice tall posture. Try to turn your head as far as you can go a little farther every time. Next, we're going to go forward and back. When you come up, jut your jaw forward and stretch the underside of your neck. Pay attention to your breathing. Inhaling as your head comes up, exhaling as it comes down. Next, we're going to side to side. Again, keep a long spine as you do these, reaching your ear towards your shoulder every repetition. Okay, now we're gonna do three circles each side, nice big, slow circles. Okay, next we're going to go into shoulder circles. Nice big circles here like this. And reverse direction. Now we're going to do one at a time. What I want you to do is take your arm forward and you're going to reach forward with this one arm, allowing the back of your shoulder to stretch. Keep a neutral spine. You don't want to move here like this. Keep your chest straight. Just take your arm forward, reach. And what we're going to do is we're going to shrug up, back, down, and around forward. reverse direction. Try to just move your shoulder. Okay, now the other arm. down and around. Remember to keep a tall chest. Don't twist. Reverse direction. Feel the muscles that are working as you do this. There's a lot of little muscles in the back of the shoulders. 
you don't move often enough. And this exercise works those muscles. Go ahead, take it down. Okay, next we're gonna do some arm circles. We're gonna big arm circles. You're gonna come up here like this and forward. Okay, forward swimming motions. If you feel comfortable with it, start to speed it up a little bit. Now reverse, backstroke. Right, here's where it gets tricky. We're going to go right arm forward, left arm back. Reverse direction. down shake it out a little bit okay next we're going to do some elbow circles you're going to take your arms up here like this and you're going to imagine you're putting some glasses on and then loop your arms around this is an upper elbow circle and we're going to reverse direction take the glasses off Loop it around. Good, take that down. One arm now. You're gonna take your hand, palm up. You're gonna take it up under your armpit and extend out here like this and loop it around. This is a lower elbow circle. Keep the palm up until you're here, then turn it around. Palm up until here, turn it around. Okay, ready, reverse direction. Other arm, up underneath the armpit, extends out, loops around. Reverse direction. Good, shake that out. Okay, next we're gonna go into the wrists, wrist pumps here. You're going to make a fist, gooseneck your forearm, bend your elbows, then extend your elbows, pull your hands back, spread your fingers. Really try to flex the muscles here in the forearms as you do this. And extend, you'll feel the muscles in the back of the arms contract. Okay, next you're gonna interlace your hands together. We're gonna to do some wrist circles like this. Now reverse direction. Shake that out. Now, you're gonna go back behind your chair. Just for a little balance here, we're gonna have our feet about shoulder width. We're gonna do some hip circles. Reverse direction. Keep your knees relatively straight here. You want to keep your head and shoulders pretty much over your center of gravity. You don't want to be moving around like this. Just move the hips. Okay, we're going to do the same thing, but now with feet together. 
Feet together, hip circles. Again, the knees stay relatively straight. Keep nice and tall. Have one hand on the chair for a balance or two. It's fine. Reverse direction. Okay, now open your feet up nice and wide. Shoulder width or wider. We're gonna do some side lunges now where you're gonna shift your weight to one leg. You wanna put about 70% of your weight on this leg, keeping the other leg straight, getting a stretch here in the groin. Come back to the other side. Again, you've got, you're holding on to your chair for balance and you're only going as far as you feel comfortable with. Go ahead, stand up nice and tall. I want you to squeeze your inner thigh muscles like you're trying to scissor kick the floor with your legs. Nice and strong legs, just hold it tight, tight, tighter. Relax, open your legs up a little bit wider. Same thing, nice and tall. We're gonna side lunge again. Come on back up to standing and scissor kick. Contract the muscles in the inner thigh. Hold it tight. Keep your abdominal muscles tight, your glute muscles tight. Standing nice and tall as you squeeze those inner thigh muscles and relax. Go ahead, walk it in just a little bit. From here, we're gonna side bend. You're gonna take one hand, post it in your hip, and you're gonna lean to the side here. And the other direction. If you feel comfortable, you can have both hands on the hips. Okay, one more, we're gonna come on over and hold. Hang here and breathe. Take a nice couple deep breaths right to where you feel the stretch on that side. Inhale into the tension, exhale, let it dissipate. Inhale, come on back up, let's go to the other side. Come down and hold. Take some nice deep breaths. Let that hip stretch out. Inhale, come on up. Okay, bring your feet together. Next, we're gonna do some side kicks. Starting with your right leg, you're gonna kick your leg out to the side. I want you to lead with the heel. And what I mean by that is I don't want your toe to turn up like this. Don't do it like this here. Toe points forward. Okay, so you're gonna just come up with that leg and back down. Give a little pause at the top. You don't wanna just kick your leg up and drop it right down. Pause, make that hip muscle work. Okay, one more, we're gonna come up and hold. Right, a little bit higher. A little bit higher. A little bit higher, good, down and switch. Left leg kicks out, toe points forward, lead with the heel.
Okay, one more. We're going to come up and hold. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. A little higher. Good. Down. And let's go ahead and have a seat. Okay, from a seated position, we're going to do some side bends now. I want you to take your hand and just slide it down the back chair leg, reaching for the floor. Whether or not you get to the floor doesn't matter. That's just the direction we're moving. Maybe you've got long arms or really good flexibility and you can touch the floor pretty easily. Go down further, maybe putting your knuckles on the floor. But be sure that you keep your hips in the chair. You don't want your hip to rise up. Don't lean in your chair. Lower body stays planted. One more, let's come down and hold. Take a few deep breaths. Let that stretch out. Inhale, come on up. Let's go to the other side, down and hold. Inhale, come on up. We're going to go to the front now. So you're going to side bend, reaching forward. Take your arm to the outside of your leg and try to touch your toe. Come back up. We'll go to the other side. should feel this stretch on one side of your back, right back here. And what you can do if you want to increase the stretch, shrug your shoulder up a little bit. Okay, one more, we're going to come down and hold. Hang here and breathe. Inhale, come on up. Let's go to the other side, down and hold. Inhale, come on up. Good. Okay, now we're going to do some forward bends sitting nice and tall in your chair with your feet wide, shoulder width or wider. We're gonna bend from the hip, not from the back. Don't let your back round like this. Keep a nice tall posture. Almost imagine like you're pushing your chest in between your legs. You're gonna inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Use your legs to help you bring you back upright. So when you're in this position, I want you to push your heels into the floor. Let that bring you up. Okay, one more, we're gonna come down and hold. Just hang here and breathe. Nice deep breathing. Let the hips stretch out. The hamstrings release. And the lower back lengthens. Each inhale you stretch. Exhale, sink deeper. Okay, now on a big inhale, you're going to push your heels into the floor. Come on up, leading with the head. Ready? Inhale. Good. From here, we're going to take the left leg up. I want you to grab your toe, rotate your ankle a little bit. Reverse direction.
Okay, now you're just going to lean forward a little bit. Take a few deep breaths. Start to lean into this. And then finally, you're going to take your right hand, bring it up under your left foot. Your left hand is going to go to the top of the knee. I want you to push down on the knee, pulling up on the foot. You're trying to level this leg parallel with the floor. And you're going to reach your head down towards your foot. Breathe deep. Inhale, come on up, keep the leg up. What I want you to do now is take that leg and hug your knee. You're gonna pull your knee in nice and close to your chest. Start to pull that knee to the opposite shoulder. So left knee and right shoulder, close that distance there. You should feel a stretch here right in your left buttocks. Take some nice deep breaths right into that stretch. Good, go ahead, release the leg. Let's take that leg down and bring the other leg up. Try to put your ankle on top of your knee or right above that part of your leg. You don't wanna have the lady like cross of the legs. You want to be here. All right. Grab the toe, rotate the ankle. Reverse direction. Okay, now go ahead and start to lean into it. Take some deep breaths and just start to let the hip stretch out. As you lean forward. Now go ahead, rotate the left hand to the underside of the right foot, right hand to the top of the knee. Push down on the knee as you pull up on the foot, leaning your head towards your ankle breathing. <sighs> Remember, don't move into pain. This should feel like a good massage. Intense, but not painful. Inhale, come on up. Good, keep that leg up, you're gonna hug the knee. Pull that knee in nice and close to your chest. And then start to reach that left shoulder to the right knee. Deep breathing right into where you feel that stretch. Good, go ahead, take that leg down. Okay, we're gonna move up to the head and neck. All right, first thing I want you to do is take your head and jut it forward like this. We're going to pull back. We're going to do like a chicken neck here where the head comes forward and back. Most of us have this 
forward head posture right here. Really focus on bringing the head and neck back. Right here like that. Okay, now here we're going to go side to side. Head's going to go left and then right. Now with this, we're not tilting and we're not turning. We're going side to side here. Now we're gonna put those two movements together where your head comes forward, side, back, side, and then circle it around. This is different than the neck circles that we did earlier. These are neck glides. Your head should be moving like a little crank on the top of a peppercorn grinder just kind of orbiting around. Reverse direction. Keep your shoulders relaxed as you do this. Don't let them shrug. Good. Okay, from here we're gonna do the same thing but with the thoracic spine. So that was the cervical spine glides we just did. We're gonna do thoracic spine, your upper back. What I want you to do is try to poke your chest out like this and then collapse it. Poke your chest out and collapse. Now the shoulders move, but they move passively. I'm not doing this here. I'm doing this. You want your spine to round. That's where the movement comes from, is your upper back. Okay, from here, we're gonna go side to side. Notice my head and my hips are staying stationary. I'm not moving that. It's like I take my rib cage and I push it right, I push it left. The shoulders move, but they're just going along for the ride. I'm not doing this. Okay, now we're going to put those two movements together where the chest comes forward. Side, back, side, and roll it around. Reverse direction. Good. Okay, standing nice and tall, or sitting nice and tall, rather. We're going to work into the uh, head and neck. I want you to take your right hand. Reach up, grab the left side of your head, and you're going to pull your head to the right. Let your left arm hang down and your shoulder drop. And just take some nice deep breaths here. You want to try to create as much distance from your ear and your shoulder as you can. Deep breathing. If you want, you can grab the bottom of your chair and start to lean. That'll help pull your shoulder down. Take some deep breaths. Now go ahead and push your head into your hands. Contract the muscles being stretched. Hold it tight. Tighter. Tightest. Relax, release the head, come on up. Left hand reaches up. It's gonna grab the right side of the head. Pull your head to the left. Let your right arm hang, shoulder drop down. Take some deep breaths. If you want, you can grab the chair, bottom of the chair, and start to lean. 
creating more distance between that ear and shoulder. Now I want you to start to push, push your head into your hand. Contract the muscles being stretched. Hold it tight, tighter, tightest. Relax, release the head, come on up. Good, next you're going to interlace your fingers behind your head, pull your head down, chin to chest. Big stretch on the back of your neck. Now start to push your head into your hand. Contract the muscles being stretched. Allow your head to come up, 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 until finally you're going back, back, back. Releasing the head. Keep pushing your head and neck back. Now you're gonna take one hand under the chin, other hand to the elbow, use both arms to press your head and neck back. Now start to push your chin into your hand. Contract the muscles being stretched. Relax, release the head, come on back forward. You're going to take your right hand, reach up, grab the back of your head a little on the left side. And you're going to pull your head forward and to the right. So now you're stretching just the left side of the back of your neck. Go ahead, push your head into your hand now, contracting those muscles. Tight, tighter, tightest. Relax, release the head, come on up. Same thing with the other side. Left hand reaches up, grabs the back of the head a little on the right side. I want you to pull your head forward and to the left. So you're stretching just the left side of the back of your neck. Now push your head into your hand. Contract that muscle being stretched. Hold it tight, tighter, tightest. Release the head, come on up. Great work. From here, three circles each direction. And reverse. Okay, now we're gonna stand on back up. Go back behind your chair again, or at least have something to assist with your balance. We're gonna do the same exercise, the glides, but now with the hips. So first we're gonna start by just tilting the pelvis forward and back. You're gonna tilt the pelvis forward like this, and then back, forward and back. Okay, next is gonna be hip hikes. You're going to lift one hip up and then the other. As you do this one, keep your knees straight. You don't wanna bend the knee because then you just start doing like this marching exercise. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to move the hip, lift it up, and then back down. Your feet will stay pretty much right over top of where they stand. I want you to not only lift one hip up, but push the other hip down so it would look like this. That's what you're trying to do, only with the hips. Now 
Now we're going to put those two exercises together. And we're going to do the belly dancer exercise. We're going to tilt the pelvis forward to the side, back and to the other side. And then you put them together, and just roll it around like this. Reverse direction. Good. Okay, stand up, shake your legs out a little bit. We're going to move into the hinge exercise next. This is a very important movement to get right, to learn how to do. This is how you want to, let's say, bend over to pick things up, how you want to begin your squat or your chair stand, and it's by hinging the hips backwards. It's almost like you fold yourself in half. So what I want you to do is take your hands right here, and you're going to put them at the crease of the hips. You're going to push your hips back like this. Push your hips back, 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 back. And then come forward, squeeze the butt muscles. So again, push the hips back, folding yourself in half, pushing the butt back, and come forward, squeeze. Now, as your hips come back, your knees, they don't move, okay? They bend, but they don't travel forward. A lot of mistakes people make, a lot of the mistakes people make is they bend their knees like this. This is not good for the knee. You heard squatting is bad for your knees. No, squatting like that is bad for your knees. Squatting like this, it's good for the hips. So this is the hip hinge. And from here, we're gonna move right into the squat. So you fold your hips, pushing the butt back, 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 all the way down now to the chair. Let's stand back up. Okay, hips push back, all the way down, touch the chair, come back up. If you want, you can take your arms out in front of you like this, touch, and come back up. Do your best not to do this and rock up. Try not to use that momentum to assist you doing your squat, at least not for exercise. Hips push back, you reach for that chair, touch, come on back up. This is one of the best exercises you can do, guys. It's gonna develop the muscles in the hips, legs, the back. And the stronger your legs are, the better you can walk. The more upright you can stand. The more energy you'll have throughout the day. say walking is one of the best things you can do for your body and I agree but I also say that if you can't stand up you can't walk so practice this exercise as much as you can let's do one more good stand all the way up nice and tall I want you to now pinch your shoulder blades back Take some nice deep breaths and start to elongate your spine as you pull your shoulder blades back. Take a deep breath, take your arms out here to the sides and reach back. Reach back, 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 back. Go ahead, take your arms down. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Arms up, reach back, and now come up. Straight up. Reach up, and then back a little bit. Take the arms down. One more time, you're gonna reach back. Now reach up, stretch up. I want you to take your left hand down, right hand to the sky. You're gonna stretch up to the ceiling. Try to touch the ceiling. Look at your right hand, stretch out of your right shoulder, push your right foot into the ground, and take a deep breath. Left hand comes up, meets the right. 
right hand down to the side, left hand to the sky. Stretch up out of that left shoulder. Push your left foot into the ground. Take a deep breath. Right hand comes back up, meets the left. Stretch back a little. And that concludes our joint mobility session for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy your practice.